Hey, my name is Emilio from Digital Byte Computing. Today we're gonna to look at how to download ESXi 7.0. Before we do that, please remember to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos. Let's go through that guide right now. So let's go through uh, 7.0 of ESXi. This is uh, a new release, well, recent release anyway. Uh, awesome, uh, got a lot of extra good features and uh, benefits and functions than the previous 6.7 and 6.5 of ESXi. We're gonna go through the steps on how to download it. It's completely free, which is excellent. In my description, in the bottom of my video, I have the URL on how to actually go and download ESXi 7.0. So we're gonna go through that guide today. But as I said, it's completely free. And the great thing about VMware is uh, it acts as a hypervisor. Essentially, it's a, a operating system that allows you to install multiple servers and virtual machines within one physical host. So it's a really, really cool tool. And if you've never used it, this is the guide on how to download it. And um, we're gonna go through that step today. So let's now log into my computer and we're gonna go through the steps on how to do that. So here we are logged into our computer. We're doing this from a Mac. You can do this from a Windows PC, uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, but we are gonna be getting ESXi 7.0. Uh, now I do have the link in my description on where to download that from. So click on that link and that will navigate you to the login screen of VMware. All right, and here we are. Now the great thing about ESXi is that it's completely free. You can go ahead and download it for free. So from here, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom to personal desktop and we're gonna click on that and then we select vSphere v, uh, hypervisor 64-bit. Okay, so this is the hypervisor, which is ESXi. So let's just go ahead and click on there. Now, what you're gonna need to do is you need to log in. So you need to go ahead and uh, register for an account if you don't already have a VMware account. If you do, you can log in or you can go and create an account yourself, uh, put in your first name, your last name, your email address, and then continue. And then you'll be registered to be able to go and download the hypervisor. But I already have an account, so I'm just gonna throw in my username and my password and log in. Now, once you've logged in, uh, you will uh, have to register to be able to get the hypervisor 7.0. So I've already registered, which means it says, thank you, register. Otherwise, there'll be a button here to say uh, for you to register. So you need to essentially say, yes, I've got a login, but I want to now register to get hypervisor 7.0. So you'll have to click on that. You'll have to verify some details. But then once you've logged in, it should say, thank you for registering for VMware v Sphere Hypervisor, which includes VMware ESXi and vSphere Client. Now here is my Hypervisor 7 license, along with my license key, which I do have blocked out there, but you will have the installer right available there underneath for manually download. Uh, this is the ISO image, 350 meg big, as well as your license key. So really the steps is now to go and download the actual installer. Once you've got it, you then go through the steps on obviously getting that onto a uh, some sort of a server somehow. We're not gonna go through those steps here, but you can download it here and then use the license key to be able to register your ESXi. So there you have it, simple, simple guide on how to download ESXi 7.0. Hopefully you were able to do it. And then your next step is then to obviously go and install it. But that's it for now. Please subscribe, clicking on that notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos on digital byte computing. And as always, like this video, comment below, let me know your thoughts. We'll see you next time. All the best.